came to Sunday school, will you please stand for our scripture and prayer? My scripture uh, this morning will be coming from Lamentations 3 and 22. Because of the Lord, great love, we are not consumed, for his compassion never fail. Amen. Amen. We plead by your head. Uh, my Father God, we come to you, Lord, my head's bowed. Um, thank you, my Father God. Uh, thank you, first and foremost, my Father God. Thank you for your goodness, your mercy, and your grace, my Father God. Thank you just for letting us here, let us be here today, my Father God, and uh, have this Sunday school, Lord. Uh, thank you for this church, my Father God. Uh, we come, uh, thank you, my Father God, just for the, uh, the Son. Thank you for the Word of God, my Father God. Thank you for the Holy Spirit. Um, we come, thank you for this lesson. And uh, my Father God, uh, Second, we come to you, Lord, just, just asking me, my Father God, for just for just the simple thing, my Father God, that, 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 that you provide for us all the time that we take for granted, my Father God. Just uh, keep on, my Father God, bless us, my Father God, to meet like we meet, my Father God. Lord, I come praying, my Father God, for John Lewis, uh, the activist, my Father God. I come praying for his family right now, Lord. As you just draw, draw, draw us all close to you during this time, Lord. Uh, Lord, I come praying for uh, uh, Horace Kelly, my Father God, T.S.U. Tiger, my Father God. I come praying for him and his family right now, my Father God. Lord, they called me alone, my Father God. And Lord, we just all draw close to you during this time, Lord, and be able, Lord, to celebrate their lives, my Father God. Uh, we come asking for these things, my Father God, in the sweet of us, in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Okay, today's Sunday school lesson is going to be coming from um, 1 Samuel 8, 1 through uh, 20. And like last week, I think we went over um, with the elder sentence, going over um, Port of Samuel, when he just coming out of the uh, God let him go through a war where they lost the covenant, and the covenant was sent back to the nation of Israel. And it's been years and years and years later, we hear of uh, Samuel 8. And I'm going to give you a little context to it. This lesson is actually called Israel's Demand for a King. And uh, yeah, you, you hear it. Israel's Demand for a King, and they already have a king, so that's a problem. That's a problem, so we started off with a problem. But let's, let's give a little context to this, what's going on. And I'm going to give you, first I'm going to give you the golden text. The golden text is going to be, the scripture comes from uh, 1 Samuel 8 and 7. The Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto the voice of the people, and all that they saw unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. Okay, that's the golden text that goes to today. It's actually Samuel and a time of praying to God, and God responded to Samuel and telling Samuel, Don't be upset because they haven't rejected you, but they rejected me. You know, they rejected me. Which they always did during that time. And that take me into the context. We come from a time of, of when judges, we just come out of judges, and judges was a time where we went through a cycle where where, 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 where Egypt, I mean Israel would, 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 would fall out of the graces of God because of their sins and their all idol worship. And uh, then uh, oppression would fall upon them. And then after that oppression would fall upon, they would turn their heads back, turn their face back to God and see God and, and repent and turn back from their wicked ways. And uh, during that time, though, to get out of oppression, when they turned their head away, he would raise up a judge. Okay. And Samuel was the last, last of the judges. Okay. He was the last of the judges. And just keep that in thought as we go through this lesson of them asking for a king. You know, we have some elders asking for a king. You know, okay, we're going to start out this. Okay? And we, uh, the first part of this lesson comes from Scripture uh, uh, 8, Samuel 8, 1. And verse 1 says, And it came to pass, when Samuel was old, that he made his sons judges over Israel. Now, the name of his firstborn was Job, and the name of his secondborn was uh, Abi. They were judges in Beersheba. And this and his sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after Lucre and took and took bribes and prevented judgment. 
in perverted judgment, okay? Uh, Lucurious is another word for money or, 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 or uh, another, another way of saying money or bribe. Uh, they, 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 these, these sons of uh, that Samuel, let me get to the first thing. Samuel tried to point these, point these. This has been the first time anything has ever been appointed over Israel. So he was kind of kind of out of place for that. You know, he, he tried to appoint his sons uh, 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 to help them do ju judgment. And in doing in doing so, they 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 weren't they weren't of his they weren't uh, the men of his stature that they, they they backslid and they would do things such as taking bribes and just per perverted judgment like it says. And he and he tried to help the situation by sending them far away as he could south of south of uh, where he was at of Jerusalem to to a wicked place where there was a bunch of evil. So he kind he kind of sent them there where Israelites really wouldn't even see him. You know he tried to try to keep them out of out of harm's way, <laughs> well, you know, out of the way of everybody else, because really he was making the same mistake that Eli did. Eli did the same thing, and he and uh, Eli was corrected during that time uh, before uh, Samuel came about, and Samuel was there to see that, you know. So he's doing basically the same thing, but I don't think he's done it, doing it in the wrong way, or you know, in, in, in a way to try to bring harm to Israel, but it wasn't the right way, okay, and. Um, this this brought about a problem, which we're gonna hear, uh, we're gonna address right here between four and seven. So in verse four it says, it says, then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah, and said and said unto thee, and said unto him, Behold, thou art old, and thy sons walk not in thy way. Now make us a king to judge us like all the other all the nations. But the thing displeased displeased Samuel. Then they they, they said they said, Give us a king to, to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And in this part right here, this is this is a, a this is a the part of uh, that request request for a king. The elders gathered. The elders gathered at Ramah. This was uh, where uh, the main place that Samuel would operate from because he was on a circuit where he would go around the villages of Israel and he would the different tribes and he would bring forth the word of God because he was the judge at the time to do so. And so they they was able to gather at, 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 at Ramah and they, they they was ready. But but, but, but announced to him. But but let's go back to. He not, he not knowing this going on that they thinking like this about his sons. But let's go back to what I told you about the cycles. Remember, this is during that time where the cycle going to take place. So the elders were kind of smart in what they did because they knew oppression was coming because of the way they were living. And they had made, not made God first. They had took God from being first place. They, 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 they worshiped the idol gods again. So so here we go. They kind of see. They, the elders have been there to see this cycle take place. So they know this cycle coming back around. Okay, so them seeing this cycle come back around, they, 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 they say, hey, your sons is not fit, which they had every right to, to do so, because being men of God and, and seeing something being perverted done uh, through uh, another person that was appointed to be uh, God's leader, it, 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 it's right to do. You're supposed to stand up when something is wrong. Yeah, that's, not, that's not wrong at all. I mean, when they stand less than God, or against God, you, we have to take a stand. And, and, and uh, the church has been called to do that today in these times. You know, we, we have to take a stand when we see something wrong. You know, when we see something wrong, we have to take a stand. But at the same time, the solution is only in the word of God. They, that's, they, that's what they kind of veered off from. The word of God and, and God being the point is the solution to any any uh, problem you, you, you know we, we come across, you know, or anything we need to make justified or righteous again. I'm going to be made righteous through God. Okay? So let's go to the next next scripture right here, the next section. And then let, let me also address this. Let's say something about Samuel here. Uh, uh, we can learn something from Samuel in this situation that him being displeased with what they said and them, and them what they spoke and being evil to his ears, which is true. This was a sin. They were going against what God wants. For us being somebody, being, being a king, they want wanting a king. He was able to humble himself and go before the God, go before God in the situation. That's the, that's the Red Sea rules right there. 
We can go back to the Red Sea rules. Let's see God's face in any situation where, where, where you're displeased or upset. He was upset. I mean, he was mad and furious about what these people had said, but he just didn't go off and tell off into the people. He, he bought it to God. And that's what we all should do in these situations at times. Whenever, whenever we are, something is unrest or something not right, let's bring it before God. Let's remember this. If we can learn this from Samuel during this time. He, even, even, even look at that situation. They was going against God. But he, he didn't just tell off to the people. He brought it before God. Okay? So let's, let's remember that. Let's remember that. Okay? And I want to go to verse uh, 7 to 11. Okay? And this section here uh, pretty much talks about the response from the Lord. As he, as he brings it before God, what um, the people have requested. Uh, this is a response. This is God's response, okay? Then this uh, verse 7. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto thy voice, and the people, and all that they say unto, unto thee. For they have not rejected thee, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. And, 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 and let me tell you what that is. God reigned over them during that time. It's called a theocracy. Okay, this is a theocracy when God ruled the people Himself, and they and, and they and they were uh, judged or ruled by the, the the commandments. Okay, okay, the ones that were made on Mount Sinai. Okay, this 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 is this is how the people of Israel was supposed to be reigned. But now we're in a time where the people were. And, and, and when we leave word of God, the word of God is sovereign, so we don't know that God put this here for us to learn from. Okay, because. Uh, you know, like like Sam did, he tried to appoint his sons, and then the elders came up. They wanted a king, okay? They wanted to be like all the other nations, which is you know, God wanted us to see this. They wanted them to go through it for our sakes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For our sakes, he wanted them to go through this. So back to the uh, scripture in in, um, in A, it says, according to all the works which they have done, done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even until this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and served other God. So, so they also unto thee. So do they also unto to thee. So, like what I'm talking about, they still doing it, and even more so now, they want a physical, they want to serve a physical God, which is the, you know, when you call for a king or a monarchy or something like that. That that's what they wanted. Uh, like, but uh, God before then would array, array, uh, rise up these judges and appoint them Himself. And uh, they they, they, wanted, they wanted to try to probably miss a war or miss the next war. They want to make sure they don't get oppressed next time. But but uh, let's let's hear what God said. What else God says about it in verse nine? Now therefore hearken unto their voices. How be it yet protect solemnly unto them and and shew them. The man of uh, the king that shall reign over them. Okay, so so God uh, is telling telling uh, is uh, responding to Samuel in his prayers, just telling let, let you know let them know what comes with, with having a king. Let them know what comes with having a king. You know what comes with, what comes with government. There's always something with the government. You know, and, and that's kind of like with, with like today with the church and, and the Black Lives Matter movement. It's something with that. You know, we just can't align ourselves with Black Lives, Black Lives Matter uh, movement. We, we can't because it's something that comes with that. And, and I don't think the church is willing to pay the price of stuff that comes with that. Because it might it might, it might actually um, 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 go against a little bit of our integrity. You know, we, we don't want the stuff that come all with that. We believe in Black Lives Matter too, but there's some other line of stuff that goes with that. Soon it's going to be... Um, um, the um, the lifestyle that the uh, alternative lifestyle lifestyle matters, and we don't want to go down that road. The church is not going down the road. We got to stand against that. You know, we don't lean on the word with that. Okay, but let's go down to the next verse, and it says right here uh, in verse ten. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people that asked of him of a king. So he told them everything, the bad stuff that goes with having the king, how, how, one of the things right here in verse 11, and he said, this will be the man of the king that shall reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them 
for himself and his chariots and to be his horsemen. And some shall run before his, his chariots. So what he's saying, uh, the government or the king will, will use your kids to fight to fight their wars. They will use your kids to, uh, to, 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 to make them more powerful. He will take away money from your first crop. He will take money away from your first harvest. He'll take money, he'll take, he'll take the animals from your first uh, born animals, your livestock. He's going to take the first of everything you have, and then you come. Okay? Okay, and, uh, and, and that's the deal, that's the deal that comes with having a king. Okay? You, you're not going straight to the God, but now the king is first, then the king is in between you and God. <laughs> Which... That, 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 that wasn't that wasn't it at first, but that's this is what the people had asked for. This is what the people had asked for. Okay, and um, it, it's sad to say, but but, but this, this is what we do still today. And the church needs to stand firm on, on what God says because just because we have a government doesn't mean we have to follow all what the government want, wants us to do if it's out of line with God's word. If it's not aligned with God's word, we should we should we shouldn't step and strive with what they want, 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 want. If it's not aligned with God's word, we should step and strive with what they want. That's still stand firm today. But this is the situation we put ourselves in. And it says in the scripture in the scripture how we we will be seeking God, trying to try to get rid of this king. But even his face will not be found. His head turned from us. And, and that's what we have with Trump right now. But this, this, but this, this, this didn't start with Trump. This started back then, right now. This was this was started at right here. Okay? And now we're going to verse 18, the last part of this. Uh, the refusal of the people. After Samuel told these people over and over again what it was going to be and, and, and the bad stuff to come come with the king. And you know Samuel put, 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 put his mustard on that too because he was unhappy. <laughs> so he told him probably the worst way of how this, how, how this is not the right decision to make. The elders and the people uh, of Israel still decided, right here in verse 18, and ye shall cry out in that day because of your king, right here, which ye shall have chosen you, and the Lord will not hear in that day. And you would think, see what I'm saying? And we talk about that, the Lord will not hear in that day. And we talk about that again and again. They, God has turned their turned they face. You know, I don't like the way they put that, but God, he won't hear your prayers. <laughs> He won't hear your prayers during that time because because this is what you ask for. He giving the people what they ask for. A lot of times we pray for stuff we don't we don't need. <laughs> and, and, and God mercy blesses us without giving us the stuff we ask for. Sometimes that the stuff we think we need. I'm gonna say the stuff we think we need. God's mercy is good, but sometimes He'll let us have what what what, what we pray for and what we ask for, and that's a form of punishment. <laughs> Believe me, amen. I, 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 I've been there myself. So look, it's the form of punishment what you ask for, and you get, and you receive what you want. Sometimes it isn't meant for you to have, but God will let you have it. Because look at with them giving the king, they thought they was gonna miss oppression. Still oppression fall, fall upon them from the king. See what I'm saying? So they, they didn't miss it. They didn't miss it at all. They didn't miss it at all. They always had a plan, and they, I, you know, I, I don't think they meant bad. But we God meant for this to have the scripture. <laughs> to know that, 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 that this is a, this is a sham. <laughs> Don't fall for it. Don't fall for it. Okay. And we will go to uh, verse verse nineteen. Nevertheless, the people refused to obey the voice of Samuel, and they said, "Nay, but we will have a king over us. We still we want a king." Okay. And then we'll go to the last verse, verse twenty, that we also may be like. All the nations. Now, this is the underlying problem. This is the real meat of it. They, they want to be like everybody else. And it's not meant for us to be like everybody else. People that's followers of, of, of Christ, followers of God, aren't meant to be like everybody else. We're not meant to be like everybody else. We're supposed to be like a, a salt, right? Salt. We're supposed to be like salt. Supposed to be that light. Okay, and the only way we can be that light is what happened God first. When you put a king there, now how can you be that light? Okay, so we gotta keep God first as a church. All right, keep God first as a church and be that light. 
okay, and be that soft. That's what we call to be. We, we call to spread the good news. That's what we call to be. That's what we call to do. Okay? Um, let's go to 20. I think I, I'm going to go to 20 right now. It says that we also may be like all the nations. That's what I, that's what I fell off of. And that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. See, they're trying to avoid, you know, they, 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 they thought a king can protect them, but God has been protecting them all this time. And, and so, you know, I, the, 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 the part of this thing that was bad was when the elders, elders tried to appoint, try to get somebody appointed. They tried to come up with, 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 with the solution, which, which, which God was the solution. They should have went right back to God. You know, hey, we, your sons are not, not the answer to what we need. But God knows the answer. But we don't know. And being like another nation is not the answer. But that's what they messed up. They just try to uh, logically think, I guess. Oh, well, we can just be like the other nations and they have a king. Okay? We can have a king. But, you know, we can, at least they did go to Samuel with it. And, and uh, Samuel went to God with it. And, and God answered their prayers. God answered their prayers. Um, I'm going I'm to give up. A scripture with that it comes out of James 4 3 it says say ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss you know we pray for stuff sometimes that, 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 that that's a miss a miss and, and God's mercy this is his mercy right here when he doesn't answer when he doesn't answer when we're amiss but sometimes God's pressure will, will follow you through those blessings. He will, he will let you have what you ask for a miss. Okay? He, he, he'll let you have what you ask for a miss. And we're going to go right here into conclusion that, that, that we ought to be different. And we ought to be able to... Uh, it's okay to be different. Because if, if, if we align ourselves with the world and the culture, we're out of line. You know, church and what we stand for is supposed to be uncomfortable to the outside world. They're supposed to be uncomfortable when they when, when they when they come in these doors, uh, if they come in with an attitude from the world. Okay. So 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 we're not supposed to make it comfortable for the world and make ourselves like the world. But we're supposed to stay the same, stay right to stay in God's word and keep God's word first. So in, 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 in saying that, we've seen, number one is that we cannot put nothing in front of God. And if you have, you can make a bad decision. But you've seen it this, you can make a bad decision. But let me tell you, Disobedience is putting something in front of God. Whenever you disobey, whenever you disobedient to the word of God or disobedient to God, you're putting, you're putting something in front of God right there. So right here, right now, today, we got the word of God to refer to. So when we do that, we can uh, get right back in line and align ourselves with him and, and, and put him first in our life. And putting him first in our life, we have to walk the way he wants us to walk. Okay, and realign ourselves with him. Let us not be like these uh, 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 these elders of Israel, or like the, the sons of uh, the sons of Samuel. Let's, let's let's keep God first in our life. Let Him be the King of our life. Let's pray for our leaders. Let's pray for our leaders that God lead them, and that we can accept any decision or anything that we go through, like we're going through right now. That God protect us in the midst of. So right now, I'm going to end this lesson with that, and I'm going to pray. My Father, God, we come for you, Lord. We come for you, Lord, just humbly, Lord, humbly. Seeking your face, my Father, God. Want to do your will, my Father, God. Put you first in my life, my Father, God. Then you be a light unto our path, my Father, God. We come and ask you, Lord, just to, just to let us be able to meditate on your word and what you want us to. Let us be able to be the light you want us to be in this world, my Father God. Let us be able to go out, my Father God, and witness to where you want us to witness, Lord. Wherever there is for the world, my Father God, that Lord, the seed that we plant may grow. 
We just come thank you for this day, my Father God. Thank you for your goodness and mercy. Thank you for the ones that's tuned in today, my Father God. Thank you for just letting us gather the way we gather today, Lord. We come to you, Lord, in Jesus Christ's name, Lord, ask me to stand, my Father God. Amen.